going on everybody hope y'all are having a good one We're doing kind of another stupid tire test um even though i've run these tires i think on this rig before but it's been a good long while um these are the enjora what is it uh mud terrain mt um i got these i think at axial fest last year uh 2023 depending on when you're watching this video i guess it was last year or not um i think i ran them on the base camp for a while and i figured out really quick they were garbage on rocks um they're kind of a mushy yet somehow firm compound um, gummy but not sticky i don't know they're really odd um, nice aggressive tread pattern they do really well in uh, the dirt and the mud and stuff like that just didn't ever really do worth a darn on rocks and concrete but now uh, I've got a little bit more weight on the Ecto and I've got new inserts. Um, currently, it, just because of how things worked out with the, the couple dualies that I have, I've got two of the blue silicone inserts in the front and then I've got some uh, dual stage foams in the rear i uh, just mounted these up and i went ahead and vented all of the tires that's something else i hadn't done before so we're gonna see if these do any better a year later with different inserts um, i think i actually ran these maybe two or three times on a couple different rigs and then i pulled them off of the wheels and they've been sitting in the garage underneath of the work table ever since. Um, I was digging around for some other parts earlier today and stumbled across them again. I had actually completely forgot about them. Also ran across another set of tires I wanna try out that I've never had on this rig. Uh, that's a later video, but figured we'll go ahead and give them a shot. Uh, it's been a while. There's a lot of obstacles that these haven't seen. And uh, we'll see see if they get any kind of redemption. Or if they're just a trail-only tire. I know I've seen a couple reviews of these from other people in the past. And seem to be a pretty similar outcome. But... Uh, nobody's run this particular exact setup on this exact rig in this exact pit before so who knows we might have ourselves a miracle today it did just crawl up the wicked little ramp that we got here and that's not an easy feat so we'll see what happens And I'm sure it'll be pretty obvious here as we go along, but uh, Ecto's still set up in trail mode. Doesn't have hardly any drag brake at all. And uh, it's got some pretty tall gearing, we'll say. I don't remember what the uh, pinion is on here, but it's currently got a castle copperhead 10 esc and uh, 2280 kv motor um, uh, axial three gear transmission and i believe it's about the biggest pinion you can get on there 
it's still set up to be in general Lee mode. But even though it doesn't have the slow, slow crawl and it doesn't have the drag brake, it's still the Ecto. It'll still do better than a good portion of the other rigs out there. Something that I do want to change. I just keep forgetting about it when I have time. I need to uh, get me some different steering links set up. This thing's got so much toe out. It, uh, it's pretty ridiculous. I definitely think it would help to get that in a little bit more of a neutral position. Oh yeah, it should be able to pull that. I was gonna say, it should be able to pull that no problem. Haven't even gotten anything difficult yet. We're already starting to have little battles. could turn into an aggressive day so in the last video we went through and figured out which set of wheels and tires work best on the Gapra um, I think that uh, the next vehicle that gets to go shoe shopping might be the Ecto kind of kind of why I'm just testing these on their own just because I don't think that they stand a chance but on the off chance that they do anything spectacular then I'll throw them in the mix okay I was not expecting that pull straight axles because even the portal rigs get hung up the rear axle drags on that piece of asphalt that's currently under the rear axle and, uh, it's pretty pretty hard diff stuffer right there but if you can manage to get a little bit of grip go a little bit of grip and or momentum holy moly so i know that this section here was here uh, last year when the base camp had these tires on it um, so i'm pretty pretty certain that these tires have tried to run this exact line before uh, maybe never on the Ecto in particular, but I feel pretty, I'd have to go back and check, but I feel pretty confident in saying I do not believe that they've uh, ever made that particular line that we're currently on. I would be really surprised if they had ever made it this far before. Um, yeah, as far as the rest of it, eh, I don't have high hopes, but one thing I can say is we're going to try. It's real close. Okay. 
get the right bounce. Whoa, almost fell completely off there. Expecting that. This is pretty wild. So I would have lost money if I was betting if they would have made it up the bottom section of hard line here. Uh, my bet is still that it's not going to make it up the whole thing. I just don't see him having near enough bite or holding power to get up this. That being said, if they was going to make it up on any rig, it would probably be this one. Uh, the Ecto's not had the title of King of the Pit in the past for no reason. traction to be had there see how hoppy it is I think it's all the silicone inserts and then even the dual stage inserts are the uh, I think it is actually in Jora brand as well that have the uh, blue rubber inner dual stage a little bit of wheel speed made some progress sorry for the noise i don't know if you'll be able to hear me over the neighbor mowing the yard or not this is as loud as i get up here i don't yell Okay, this is a perfect opportunity here. I'm gonna show you what I mean with these gummy lugs. You just see them, like they try to bite and then they just fold over and get kind of bouncy. I've got the compression, compliance, whatever you want to call it. That's good. I've got good sidewall support. They just uh, don't have the right compound of rubber to actually get a good hold. Those tires just fold right over, or the lugs fold right over. Every now and again you'll get lucky and get, get the perfect fold and it'll actually grab. good in the dirt. So 
I'd say uh, that's about as close to a win as we're going to get Just going up the uh, dirt side there. Wow, I am wrapped up in some sticks, some tree roots. Ugh. We'll just come back down this way. <laughs> That's pretty good. I don't know that I've got too many rigs that'll pull that little dirt climb there. I haven't really tried it with a whole lot of them, but I know how steep and loose that stuff is. Hey, I need to clean this place up again. This used to be a ecto line here. The cows started tearing it up. Started getting filled up with leaves and sticks. Just haven't really messed with it since I put that obstacle together. don't see it being able to go up uh, the left hand side it might be able to get up the right uh, we'll see I'm pretty confident in saying I think that the uh, the left hand side of this obstacle here is harder than hard line Hardline got the name Hardline because it was the first hard line that I had. Not because it's the hardest line up here currently. Oh, that's gonna fold and kick me back over. Like that. Oh. This whole side over here is just diff hanger city. Straight axle rigs always have a always have quite the time over here. It doesn't matter what approach you take, you're going to get hung up several times. That's a bad spot to be in. Got to get a little rock bounce early with it. This is going to be a wipeout. Or a hammer down and save yourself. All right. Let's see how it does on the tree. As bad as these things are doing, they're actually doing better than what I remember. I remember I had a hell of a time trying to get anywhere on these tires with the base camp. 
Yeah, there's definitely some slippage on the bark, but it held its own. Oh, man. That is just a whole layer. I can't get the sun to hit it just right. That's all a solid layer of spider web right there. I'm gonna wipe that out before I drive through it. That's better. I just didn't feel like having to deal with that stuff once I got back up to the house because as thick as that spider web was, I'm sure it would still be caked on the whole front end of it. I've got a pretty good idea of where they're at on rocks and concrete. I think we'll uh, see if it can make it up and over the slide here. And uh, we'll just see what it can do up on the hill climb. That was my fault. I screwed that one up for sure. So I've also got a pretty big, tiny surprise uh, coming here a little later on this week. And uh, I'm pretty curious to see how you guys uh, who watch on the regular will uh, either like it or not like it. Kind of curious to see whether I'll like it or not like it as well. We're gonna try something a little different. tires suck on the rocks but man they do really well in the loose dirt and mud and all that good stuff i know we went over this when uh i tried out the rc four-wheel drive pulling tires the camera does not do this any justice whatsoever but that's a long way down I'm only standing a little over halfway up it. The Ecto's probably, I don't know, four foot above head level for me. I'm probably eh, 15 foot elevation wise above the rocks down there at the bottom of the ramp what i'm trying to say is this is a big steep hill and 
for being just a little trail truck on some Enjora tires. It pretty well kicked this hill's ass. Well, I'm just sorry I didn't get that on camera. I started to work my way back down the hill here. It got, the rear end got hung up on a root and it took just about the same exact tumble it took with those pulling tires. I feel bad for this thing. It has had the holy snot beat out of it this week. If I can back down this thing gracefully. Should be able to. I think it's just got so much weight bias on the front. It uh, doesn't like having the ass end of it being up higher than the front. Proud.